Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Monkey Putter with another course review from PGA Tour 2K21. The course I'm going to be playing today is called Lincoln Park Chicago, designed by Harry underscore HHeat69. It has a great selection of tee positions, but I've gone for the black tee at 7,274 yards. The usual course conditions for first time playthroughs and the default time of day and weather is dawn and overcast. So let's head off to that first tee and we'll get this round underway. Okay, so we open the round with a fairly short par four, it's under 400 yards. Dog leg left. Now this course has very recently been approved for TGC Tour. So many congratulations to the course designer for that. Spin. Nice opening birdie. I love the setting for this course. It's it's obviously in like a city centre. Now I believe it's um, well, actually I'm not sure if it's a lidar course or not, but it's it's obviously set in Chicago. I've just checked actually, and it is a fictional course. But I have to say, from what I've seen so far, and I'm only on the second hole, it looks stunning. Uh, this approach shot is uphill. Got to increase the loft a little bit. Simple tap in birdie. And this is quite short as well, but it's a narrow fairway. It's about playing about 90 yards with the elevation. Oh, that's going to spin back too much, I think. Yeah. 
That's a shame. That was right by the hole at one point. This looks quite straight. I know I've said it before in many of my videos, but I have tremendous respect for all of you course designers out there. The amount of time and effort that you put into these courses is phenomenal and the results are absolutely outstanding. And this looks like it's going to be another one of those incredibly well designed courses. Now 153 into the wind. I think I'm going to stick with a 7 iron here, but I'm going to decrease the loft a bit. Oh, I'm, that might be long. Yes, it is. Uh, that's a shame. It's a great line. Too much break on this one. Oh, I misread it. That's a poor putt. Par five coming up. a long one though, 600 yards. <laughs> Safely on the fairway, 256, slightly uphill. He's a nice bounce. Oh, is it going to sit? That's no, not too bad there. It's par five after all. Got to be careful we don't race this one by because it will keep on going. Unlucky. Now this is a tricky tee shot. I'm going to hit the draw. Take it around the tree. I've got the wind off the left. Be good. Let's see if we can roll this one in. It looks pretty straight to me. Absolutely gorgeous looking course. Three elevated green. Oh, 
Good line. Nice birdie. Another par five at the eighth. Bit shorter than the previous par five, but this time it's into the wind. Fifty to go into that wind. This is going to have to be an almighty hit with a three wood, I think. Go on, go on. Yeah, that's a great shot. I don't think I've hit it hard enough. Oh, what a shame. That was for Eagle. So ninth hole, 350 yard par four, slightly uphill and into the breeze. Just admiring the buildings. Wow, that's incredible, absolutely incredible. That's, that's not an incredible swing, that could be in trouble, yes. What have we left ourselves here? is tricky to judge I'm on a quite a steep upslope into the breeze it's uphill ah no but it's slow I think it was the right club if I hit it properly Ah, uh, super putt. Now, par four at the tenth. With the wind behind, you've got to be a bit careful here not to run out of fairway. We have a quick look at the book. 340 yards will probably keep us on the fairway. I think I might hit a fade here, which will take some of the distance off. Oh, God, what a terrible swing. Ah, oh, that's awful. Get down. Ah, it's going to be long. A 
Oh, nasty part this one. It's just a par. Quite a long par three at eleven. Oh, that's going to be short. Needs a big bounce. Go on. Get on up there. Oh, what a shot. Because of the slope I saw on the green when I was looking at it, I didn't think it was going to run up quite that well, but it worked out beautifully. Got to be careful of that bunker here on the left. That, that's really going to come into play with the driver. I could lay up with a three wood, but it's going to leave a long second. Oh no, what was I thinking? Well, that was a diabolical swing, but the result turned out to be pretty good. Oh, that's long. That's a shame. That's a nice putt. Couple of par fives still to come. One at 13, which is the next hole. And the final hole of the round will be a par five as well. I love the attention to detail. Just take a look at the, uh, I think that's mulch around the bottom of that tree. I think that's a silver birch. I'm not very good with trees, but I think that's a silver birch. Unfortunately, that tree is in my way, so I'm going to have to hit a, quite a big cut shot around that tree. That's going to be short, I think. Oh, it took a nasty bounce to the right. That's not too bad there, though. I'm going to chip this because I'm practicing these in preparation for PGA Tour 2K23, which comes out in approximately three weeks time. And uh, as I've already mentioned a few times now in previous videos, the splash shot will no longer be available as I understand it, unless you are in a bunker. So. I've got to get used to playing these long chip shots.
Slow down. That's pretty good. I'm pleased with that. Very short par for here at 14. It's just a shame the wind is in our faces because I'm not sure I can reach because of that. I'll give it a go, but I don't think I can. I've given it 104% power. Go on. Go on. I just about made it. Tricky putt though. I'll certainly take two from here. This is one of these putts that could go horribly wrong. Go on, keep going, keep going, it's looking good. That's a great putt. This is such a beautiful course. You could almost mistake it for an official course within the game. It's so good. Well, this is a long par four back into the wind. Might need to sit. It's going to be long. Oh, good try. a really good par four that is now this is interesting it's a dog leg left look at that I'm just admiring the design of this course it's just absolutely stunning I took the tight line, then it paid off. Quite a strong wind off the left here. Oh no. Hit it fast. That's really poor. Now this is going to be a tough up and down. See, I would love to play a splash shot here. It would be a pretty easy up and down, to be honest with you, with a splash shot. But I 
got to get into the habit of not doing that. Okay, I've got to figure out how I'm going to do this. I could play a bump and run up the slope. Now this is a real experiment. This could go horribly wrong in different ways. No. I'm going to miss the splash shot when that goes. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I've gone the other way. Determined not to leave it down there again. Don't think it's going to reach. Oh, man. Like I say, if I'd play the splash shot, that would have been a very simple up and down, but I've got to get into the habit of not playing a splash shot nowadays. Unless it's in the bunker, obviously. Okay, so we've got a par 3 here. Slight drop in elevation, playing about 172. We've got that wind. It's quite strong. I could do with this one being close to make up for the double bogey on the previous hole. Come on, be good. Stop now. Yeah, that's one back. So on to the final hole now, the par 5, 18th. Wow, what a gorgeous looking hole that is. It's a tough one as well. You've got the, the trees and the bunker well positioned in the middle of the fairway. So we can either go down the right hand side of those, which is potentially the safer option. Or you can take the tiger line, which is a narrower, narrower, that's really hard to say, narrower part of the fairway with the water hazard on the left hand side. So I think I'm going to chicken out and I'm going to go down the right hand side and see if I can hit that part of the fairway. Okay, I'm gonna, this is a big gamble. I'm gonna hit a driver. I'm not really sure there was much benefit in doing that, to be honest. Yeah, and I've done a really stupid thing there, actually. I've left myself 
a shot of about 25 yards if you include the elevation, which, as I mentioned on a couple of holes ago, I can't play the splash shot anymore, or at least I won't be able to. So, this is dilemma time. Partial pitch, which I'm totally rubbish at. Okay. Now, in real golf, I've often played a chip and run on a shot like this and tried to run it up the bank. Uh, I'm not sure, though, that scares the living daylights out of me, that one does. <laughs> okay. Well, that's not too bad, actually, considering that was a partial pitch shot, which I'm not normally very good at, but I, I'm quite pleased with the end result of that one. Yeah, that's a nice up and down to finish with. Just a shame about the double bogey on 16, but like I say, it's a shot I've got to, I got to practice, I've got to work on. But that is an absolutely gorgeous course. It's possibly one of my favourite courses, I'll be honest. It was an absolute pleasure to play, so many congratulations to the course designer. Superb. Simply superb. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button down below and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would really, really appreciate it. So take care, everyone, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.